Hey everyone, I am back again. This is Mariana with Trenches Deep Decor. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day over here at Trenches Deep Decor and I'm so glad you tuned in today because I'm making orange chicken today. Now what you're going to need for your orange chicken is all these ingredients right here. You're going to need some Minute Maid orange juice. You're also going to need some brown sugar. You're going to also need some cornstarch. You're going to need some soy sauce. I like to put my mandarin oranges inside my orange chicken just to give it some flavor and a little bit of color uh, with my orange chicken. Uh, you're going to need ginger. You're going to need some garlic. You're also going to need the oranges for zesting and also lemon. So I am already getting started fixing this. So I want y'all to stay tuned in. Thanks for watching today. You're going to see me cut up chicken. And we're going to fry chicken today and also get it prepared so it can be ready to have the orange chicken sauce on it. I've also prepared some fried rice. I've cooked that earlier today and also I'm going to put some shrimp with it and make some shrimp fried rice today. So my daughter's birthday is today so I'm very much cooking and cooking with confidence today. That's what the name of this video is going to be cooking with confidence when you know how to cook you are able to put things together and make a really good happy meal out of it so i want y'all to stay tuned in this is mariana with trenches deep decor and thanks for liking sharing subscribing and also thank you for coming in if you are a newbie i really thank you for subscribing to my channel so stay tuned in we got the soy sauce Mandarin oranges, garlic, ginger, oranges, a lemon for a lemon zest. You're going to need cornstarch. You're going to need pure imperial sugar, brown sugar. And you're going to need Minute Maid. And you're also going to need a pot. And you're going to put all these ingredients together. And this is how it's going to turn out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, these are the ingredients that you're going to need for the chicken to get the chicken tasting good on point and all of the above you want to use these ingredients right here we got the sesame seed oil i put a little turmeric in there for the color ginger you're gonna need the blackened seasoning afterwards just to kind of give it a little you know speck of spice in it you're gonna need real sea salt you're gonna also need peanut oil uh those who are allergic to peanuts you can also use uh, canola or vegetable oil as a substitute to fry your chicken in so me i just prefer peanut oil um also uh scampi sauce mccormick scampi sauce it's for seafood and fish and things of that nature so i also have seafood that i'm going to be uh frying up or cooking up i should say and um the shrimp is what I'm going to be cooking that in, this right here in. So stay tuned in and thanks for watching. Mariana with Trenches Deep Decor. I am cooking today for my daughter's birthday. Okay, now what I'm doing is cutting up some chicken breast right now. And I'm going to fry this chicken breast. We're going to cut it up in about quarter size pieces. Take the fat, fat ones off and put it over there to the side. Yeah, but we're going to cut this up and it's going to look like this when I get done. It's going to look like this chicken over here when I get done because I've already pre-cut some pieces just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm also going to use this shrimp right here to fry my shrimp and get my shrimp going. So just stay tuned in and you're going to be cooking with me today. So. Thank you for staying tuned in. Now, when you have chicken breast like thick like this, just cut it up into slices. And then you can go into quarter slices like that. And uh, just cut the fat off. If you see some fat hanging off of it, just cut that off and put that to the side. But what you want to do is keep your, you want to keep your um, area clean because chicken is very dangerous when you're cooking it. And the reason why you can get salmonella poisoning and things of that nature. So you want to be real clean with your cooking. Use a little bit of Pyrex or disinfectant 
when you uh, get done handling chicken. And also wipe your counters down. So I'm so glad y'all are staying tuned in with me on this channel while I'm cooking. I'm getting this meat together for my daughter's birthday. She wants orange chicken today. So orange chicken is what she's going to get. She loves orange chicken. And I love cooking different type of foods. So you'll be seeing me cook a little bit more foods and loading up more decor stuff that I'm doing. Home home stuff, I should say. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all tuned in with me. And um, just staying right there, posted up on my channel. Um, I do this on a regular basis because I'm a mom. And a lot of people, you know, don't know how much of a mom I am. But I'm a very, very <laughs> seasoned mom, I should say that. I'm very domesticized when it comes to cooking and cleaning and all kind of stuff. So when you see me on my decor channel, I'm just getting started. You know, I have other videos that I will be uploading this week. I'm going to upload a Thanksgiving tablescape. I'm going to wait to after Thanksgiving to upload my Christmas scape. So I want y'all to see how I've done my house for Christmas. We're going to go with me painting my door on another tour or home DIY project. And you're going to watch me as I paint my door. So thank you for staying tuned in. Okay, so we're starting to put the flour in here. We need flour. You're also going to need this cornstarch right here. This is the cornstarch you're going to need. You're going to add some cornstarch to the flour. You're going to be needing like two teaspoons of flour cornstarch to the flour. I'm sorry. Now what you're going to do is just mix the dry together. Mix these dry ingredients together. And what you're going to do is create a little hole right here in the center. Hold on just a second. You're going to create a little hole in the center and you're going to crack an egg in there. I crack an egg in there. You're also going to crack another egg. So, you're going to make sure that you put it in the center. And when you crack the egg, you just stir it in there. And kind of fold it a little bit. Because this is going to be for your batter. You're going to stir this all up in here. You can just take this spoon and do it. Hold on just a second. You're going to add some water to it. I'm going to add a little water to it just to kind of get it going as far as the batter is concerned. Because what you're going to do is coat the chicken with this. Now me, I'm going to put a little bit of tamarack off in here. And you can just put a little bit in there. A little bit of ginger. And I'm going to put some salt in there. Not too much, but enough to kind of put in the mixture. Add a little bit more water to it. You want it kind of like a wet batter because what you're going to do is wet and dry. This is already mixed up. Thin it out just a little bit more with some water. OK, 
okay? Now, I'm going to get another egg. And we're also going to get another bowl. Let's get another bowl. I'm going to put that off in there with that. You're going to get your skillet hot right now. This is how your chicken should turn out when you get done frying it. Now you're going to add your orange sauce on top. And we're going to do that in just a second. So stay tuned in. And I'm so glad that you're cooking with me today. And look at how this beautiful chicken turned out. You want it to give it like a good coat and a crispy coat on it. Because when you put the orange sauce on it, you want it to be marinated with all that sauce. So you keep it warm. You keep the sauce warm. Make sure you stir the sauce. And make sure you put a little bit of cornstarch in your sauce to kind of thicken it up. The consistency should be thick. You mix the brown sugar with the orange juice, the ginger, the garlic, and it is going to turn out so nice. You're going to make the soy sauce be placed off in there. You're going to do your seasoning on your chicken and everything. So stay tuned in. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please go to my decor channel during the week. So if you subscribe, it'll let you know on the notification bell that I am online right now uploading another video. So thank you for tuning in. Okay, you guys, now look at this beautiful orange chicken. I have put the glaze on there and it's turning out so good. I cannot wait to plate this up and serve it to my family. Stay tuned in. And like I said, you're at Trenches Deep Decor and you're cooking with Mariana today. I'm going to leave all the recipe and everything down at the bottom to my great orange chicken that is really, really well, really, really good. And you cannot go to a Chinese store and get some better chicken in this, or a Chinese restaurant, I should say, or Asian restaurant. This is some really good orange chicken. Okay, I got my balsami rice. And I'm telling you, it is so good. Look how beautiful and gorgeous that rice turned out. This is fried rice. I am getting ready to add some shrimp and peas to this. Stay tuned in. We're getting started on making the, the shrimp. We're going to put this garlic in here. So make sure you don't burn the garlic. Make sure you turn your fire down and don't burn your garlic, okay? And what you're going to do is add your shrimp. What I'm about to do is add my shrimp now. I've marinated it already. You want to do about two pounds of shrimp okay because my family is large but well, it can it considers on how big your family is now you want to turn your fire up a little bit so these shrimp can cook and that's what we're going to do next is cook the shrimp and get the peas in there okay now that we got our shrimp hot and pink we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce Make sure you get some of this soy sauce. It's really, really good. See how beautiful that's coming out? Look at the shrimp. The shrimp should be pink like this in consistency. Pink in consistency. Okay, now you want to add some sweet peas, some frozen sweet peas to this. Look at those beautiful peas off in there. For those who don't like peas, you don't have to use peas in your recipe. You can 
just substitute it just by using something else like green beans or anything corn if you don't like uh, like it in your stir fry so you let the the uh, shrimp get cooked just enough where you can add your frozen peas in there because you want that consistency to be really really well with your stir fry you see I have this old wok type uh, stir fry pan and I just love it so you have this great great deal on how this is looking look how beautiful that's looking look how gorgeous that looks I hope it's not a blurred vision on your end because on my end it looks gorgeous okay now we're gonna get our rice out and we're gonna actually take the shrimp and the peas and add it to our brown rice Look how beautiful and gorgeous that brown rice is. You got your orange chicken right here warming. It's staying warm while you get the rest of the recipe together. Look how beautiful and gorgeous this is. I am mixing my shrimp up with peas and the rice and this is fried rice and you got your orange chicken over here and then you got your fried rice over here this is a meal to die for I'm telling you my kids they love when I cook because I have to cook large meals for my children um, I will let it chew in on a secret later but right now this is my style my cooking day how about that Let's get ready to do something else different and let's plate this up. Okay, you guys, look how beautiful and gorgeous this fried rice came out. Now look at this orange chicken. I have outdid myself today. I am exhausted, but I'm feeling good because I'm getting ready to eat me this delicious meal that I prepared for my family orange chicken and fried rice I think I did an excellent job on plating this for my family leave me a comment below on if you like this meal or not because I am so excited and I cannot wait to eat it y'all have a good night and thank you for tuning in to Trenches Deep Decor with Mariana at Trenches Deep Decor Look how beautiful and gorgeous this is. I cannot wait to eat it. All right. Well, I was hoping that y'all would stay tuned in. So hopefully you did to see how these two plates came out with this fried rice and also my orange famous chicken <laughs> that my kids love. And you can always do this on a dime, on a budget. And never break the bank. Alright. Thank you and have a good night.